Hey guys, for those of you joining in here in just a few seconds, I'm going to show you how to make this awesome crate seat. It's actually so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I was lucky because I had a lot of the materials here. Um, so it really didn't cost me that much, but um, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. And my handy husband helper is going to help me out too um, by holding the camera for me so I can show you how to do some of it. Um, to start with, thank you. I, I love this fabric too. These are actually the colors of my classroom um, with uh, that same kind of turquoise color you see over there. Um, so let me just go over what we need really quick. Um, you definitely need um, some wood. I've got a four foot by eight foot sheet at Lowe's for about $12. Um, and then they cut it for me into the pieces that you see. It's 12 and three quarter inches by 15 and a half inches. Um, and one sheet of plywood is actually enough to make 21 crate stools. So it's a pretty good deal when that wood only costs you about 12 bucks. Um, and like I said, they'll cut it for you too. Um, you'll also need, of course, your crates. I'm using Sterilite crates. Um, your measurements might change depending on what kind of crates you use. I got that one at Walmart for $3.47, so not too bad. You'll need some sort of crafting foam. I got this, um, for the wood, I got, um, you have to buy it by the sheet at the home improvement places, and it was $12 for a four foot by eight foot sheet, um, which isn't bad, and they'll cut it at the store for you. So don't think you have to have a saw at home because they cut all of these pieces for me at the store. So that was really convenient. Um, but back to the foam, you'll need some foam. I got an inch thick foam and then I actually double stack it um, just so it's a little bit more cushiony. You can kind of look at the example over there and see where it's um, definitely double stacked. That's really up to you, whatever you wanna do. Um, this was a two and a half yard roll that I picked up at Joann's just because I had a really great coupon. Um, you can definitely go to Walmart and get a mattress foam topper and cut it into smaller pieces if you want. Um, You'll need some duct tape. I'll show you why in a minute. Of course, fabric um, of your choice, um, staple gun, and let's see, some ribbon, some tacky spray, and of course, some scissors. Um, and so I will get to showing you how to do this. So here we go. I'm going to pass the phone off to my husband. So I won't be able to see your questions right away, but he's going to try to ask them to me um, if you have any questions for me as I do it. So here we go. Thank you, honey. All right, so the first thing I did um, was I had Lowe's cut the wood for me. Now the edges are really raw and I could have sanded, sanded them down if I wanted to, but I just, I didn't have time to. So that's where I used this duct tape. And all I did was I used the duct tape to put on the edges just so I wouldn't have those raw edges anymore. Then what I did on my foam, I just outlined it with a Sharpie. Um, I had enough for two, so that worked out great. You'll notice it kind of overlapped, but it was perfect because I just cut up the middle and that was perfect for my two pieces. So these are what your pieces will look like, just like this. Like I said, I double stacked mine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and tacky spray these together. Somebody just, wants to know, does it cave in the middle when they sit on it? No, it actually doesn't. But I have second graders, so they're kind of small. If you're getting up into like third or fourth or fifth grade, I would get a thicker wood. Mine was kind of thin, but they have different um, thicknesses that you can get too. So. Let me go ahead and spray this. I'm just using tacky spray. And I had this at home already because I'm a crafter. So I'm just gonna spray it on here. And all it does is it's just gonna hold my foam together better for when I put it on my wood. So just like that, and then it's stuck together. So then what I'm gonna do, I've got my wood. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna spray it on my wood just so I can stick my foam on it as well. I'm gonna line it up on the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just like that. And so it's on my wood just like that, and it's not gonna fall off because I tacky sprayed it down. So then I have my fabric. I used about three quarters of a yard on this. Um, I wish I would have got twice as much of the fabric because I would have liked to, to layered it, but one layer is fine. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some more tacky spray up here. Now the tacky spray is totally optional. You don't have to use it. Um, it just holds it down a little bit better for me and keeps things from moving. So I'm going to stick it just like this. And I'm going to press down. And like I said, that just stops the fabric from moving. So I'm going to press it down for a minute. Okay. So then, is, this is where my staple gun comes in. And this is a very cheap staple gun. I got it for $12 at Lowe's. 
Um, so what I do, I'm just going to wrap this seat like it's a present. And so I'm just going to pull it over like this, and I'm just going to start stapling. And I'll probably space them out about two inches or so. It's really up to you. Uh-oh, that one got stuck a little bit. Tony wants to know if that tacky spray really strong. It is. This is a really strong hold. I do a lot of sewing and embroidery, so this is what I use. And I've noticed that it holds pretty well. So I would keep wrapping this just like this and keep going around the board stapling. But I've already got one started right here that I'm just going to, you can see I've already stapled the side, so I'm just going to finish folding over here. Like I said, just wrapping it like a present. I'm not a good present wrapper, so... Okay, the wood was purchased at Home Depot? I got Lowe's. it at Lowe's. At Lowe's, mm -hmm. and they pre-cut it at Lowe's. And they cut it for me at Lowe's, yeah. But be mm -hmm. careful, because some Lowe's um, will charge you by the cut, so... Um, just be careful, but I was nice and said, I'm a teacher and I'm using these for my classroom, and so they were nice. So, I've got this stapled on right there. Now, you notice I said I need a ribbon. If you notice, my seat over here has a little ribbon on the edge because I want to be able to pull this seat out. So, I've got about a 14-inch piece of ribbon. All I'm going to do is loop it, just like this. Hang it from my edge, so it's just hanging over. And I'm just going to staple it down, just like this. Now you'll notice, you can see all of these staples, and I still have some raw wood down here, but I was really more concerned about these staples and I didn't want the kids really scratching themselves on them. So what I did on my first seat was I used some duct tape and I taped along all the edges that you could see. But what happened the next morning is I came down and part of the tape had peeled off. So what I did was I used more of my tacky spray, sprayed it on there, stuck the duct tape down, and now it's sticking just fine. But for tonight, I thought I would try to put down some, some felt. These are just the quarter felt pieces from Hobby Lobby. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna glue these down on the bottom instead of having that duct tape. So we'll just glue these really quick. Sorry, honey, I'm moving right here. I'm just gonna put some glue. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it this way just because I, this, um, it covers up that raw wood in the middle also. Sorry, let me reload. My big glue gun is in my classroom, so I have to use my little glue gun for this. So I'm just gonna glue it down, just edge to edge. And we are almost done. I'm telling you, this is so easy. And you wouldn't believe how much of this stuff you probably already have at home just kind of sitting around. Let's get this on here. There we go. And then I'm gonna put some right here just to hold this down. Right here and right here, okay. Somebody wrote, I can't believe how fast you did this. I know, right? Isn't that amazing? So let's test it out. So here's my crate and voila, there's your crate seat. And so when you need to pull it out, all you have to do is pull up on this little ribbon and there you go. You don't have to worry about kids scratching their fingers or anything like that. I told you guys, it was so, it was so easy. And I, I can't wait. I mean, I can push on it. I mean, it's so great. I can't, I can't wait to make more. And I'm so glad I got to share it with you guys. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. I'm going to post directions on my blog, live, laugh, love, second, blogspot.com. And thanks for tuning in. Bye.